Hey, hey, it's Aran here. Welcome to a tech tutorial on System.io where I'm gonna share with you how to set up double opt-in with your email marketing. Now, first of all, let me define what does double opt-in actually means with your email marketing. So when you are setting up a landing page, when somebody wants to possibly subscribe to your email list or join your newsletter or download your lead magnet, then they need to enter their name and email and submit it. Now, there is a couple of things that you can do in order to be compliant with the different rules known as GDPR. And you can read about GDPR separately. You can just Google what GDPR means. Basically, there are different policies to do with spam and things like that. And these are legal requirements depending on where you are in the world. This video is not gonna give you any advice on that because I'm not uh, qualified to give you that advice. So you need to research that depending on the country you're in. Now there's different things that you can do to, in order to be compliant. And one of them is double opt-in. Now there is one thing you can do, which is to set up a checkbox where they need to tick after they enter their name and their email. And then they have to tick something with saying, I confirm, but I want to receive email marketing, something along these lines. And this is an example of what that might look like. So it says here, I agree to receive email marketing and notifications from blah website. So this will be an example of what that aspect would look like. Now, in some cases, somebody might want something a bit more than that. And this is what's called a double opt-in, where basically after you subscribe to the list or somebody subscribed to your list, they get an automatic email that says, important, confirm your subscription. To confirm your subscription, click the following link. And then they have to click on the link and that's that. Now, once they click on this link, only then they are subscribed. That is why it is called a double opt-in because you, your customer enters their name and email, submits on the form, and after they submit on the form, they have to go to their email, find the email that was sent, click on the link to confirm they want to be subscribed, and only then they actually become subscriber. Now, I wanna show you how to set up double opt-in in case you want to use that strategy. So in System.io, what you wanna do is you wanna hover over your profile picture, don't click on it, and then you would click on settings. Then you would click on mailing settings, and here at the bottom, you will see here double opt-in. So you see if you hover over the question mark, it says this adds an additional step to the email subscription opt-in process. It requires that a user verifies their sign up through a confirmation email. Now, what you can do is you can click on edit confirmation. And when you click on edit confirmation email, you can see the email that's going to be set up. So you want to leave it as it is, but you can also give some extra information or you can tell them what to expect, or you can change the subject line to make sure they open it. And you can do any of those things, but you definitely want to keep the double opt-in confirmation link exactly as it is right here. So here you could do, for example, um, hello, and then first name, for example, like this, grab like that. To confirm your subscription, click the following link. Only once you do so, you will actually be subscribed and start receiving awesome value from me on a regular basis. Please click on it right now. Something like that. Let's just say, right? And then around. So this is how you would customize that particular thing. And instead of confirm your subscription, you can also add like a little emoji that says something, does something like this to capture their attention. And that's important for open rates purposes. Now, once you have this set up, what you need to do is you need to go to your funnel and make sure that you also click on the double opt-in. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you're going to click on funnels, go to your specific funnel, which is in this case, landing page challenge. You're gonna click on the landing page, which always has this in envelope thing right next to it. And that's called a squeeze page, which is where people enter their name and email. Now you will then go here and you would click on get instant access and you would have to check this button that says, do you want to enable double opt-in? Only once you enable that, then that will actually be enabled where people have to do that. So you can see right here, you would tick it and now it's been enabled. 
So next time somebody subscribes using this link, they will receive that email that I just set up a moment ago. They have to confirm and only then they will actually be subscribed. In my case, I'm not going to do double opt-in, but that's just my specific case. Again, this is not advice on whether you should or shouldn't. This is something that you need to make a decision how you want to do that. So obviously that will decrease how many subscribers you have because not everybody's gonna go and confirm their email. At, on a personal level, I as a consumer personally hate to go and have to confirm my subscription. If I want to subscribe to something, I just wanna enter my name and email and that's that. So that's just me personally as a consumer. Of course, there's different rules and legalities depending on the country you're in. Research GDPR to learn more about that. That's about it. Uh, this particular video was created as part of the landing page challenge where one of my participants actually asked me how to set this up and I wanted to record a video to show you how it's done. If you want to learn more about the landing page challenge, you can go to landingpagechallenge.com. You will see a page that probably looks something like this and uh, you can uh, sign up, check it out, and it will give you a complete checklist from A to Z on exactly how to set up your entire lead magnet funnel so you can start building your email list. That's about it. Thanks a lot for watching this video and I'll speak to you soon.